In this tutorial, we would like to show you how to set up a typical indoor noise project with IMI using a simple example. The calculation of the statistical values and receiver grid will be shown in a subsequent tutorial. For additional information on the rating method, please also have a look at the documentation on DIN 18041 on our homepage. After starting the software, we create a new project for the calculation of indoor noise with one emission variant. Therefore, select Noise in Working Rooms and reduce the number of emission variants to 1. In order to set up a room, you usually would want to import a ground plan. If you don't have a ground plan at hand, please feel free to follow the steps on a blank work area. In our example, we would like to show you how the import is done firsthand. Therefore, we go to Map, Install, Open Background Image, or simply right click on the bar on the left and choose Background Image. Here we click Add Single Image and search for the respective image file or PDF. In our example, we would like to fit the image with the help of the scanner parameters. For limiting the work area to a reasonable size, we then go on to click Project, Properties, and select the Work Area tab. Here we can adapt the work area to the available elements, the background image in our case. Please select a border of 1 meter. We then select the Working Room Library in the drop-down menu on the left hand side. Here we have the elements Working Room, Wall, Reflection Body, Point, Line and Area Source, as well as the Human Speaker. Now we have to set up the room. Please activate the Closed and Rectangular Element buttons and draw the room. Then we enter a constant relative height of 3 meters and choose Room with extended demand of silence B5 in the Element dialog. In order to make the desired wall materials available, go to the button in the Element dialog. Here you can add your own materials using the Add button. This is something we strongly recommend when dealing with projects where you know the exact properties of the materials. For general projects or for preliminary studies, you can also import standard materials into the project. Select Insert from Database and highlight the materials of interest. The sound absorption coefficient is displayed below each material. Press OK and close the dialog. Now we can start to define the wall materials. First, choose Brick Wall Unplastered for all walls in the project. Proceed to the next wall by using the arrow button. Then change to the Room Ceiling tab and set the material to Stretch Ceiling Microporous, for example. In the Room Floor tab, choose Parquet Floor Pasted. Then go back to the walls and define a door in the wall between nodes 4 and 5. 
To do so, select the wall, increase the number of partial areas to 1, and define the parameters of the door. Accordingly, we define a window in the wall between nodes 6 and 1. Then continue by closing both dialogs by clicking OK. Next to the staircase, we define a wall with a constant relative height of 3 meters and a material brick wall unplastered on both sides. Next up is the definition of a reflection body inside the room, a closed workbench in our example. Please select the respective element, draw the dimensions of the object and then define the parameters. It is important to know that the room volume is reduced by the volume of this element type in the room acoustic calculation. Therefore, it can be used to design different floor heights in rooms, such as a stage. In our example, we will have a speaker just next to the workbench and a point source in the far left area. Choose the speaker and place it next to the workbench. Enter the relative height and define the directivity towards the left upper corner. The emission value is predefined according to DIN EN ISO 3382-3. The noise source shall be a machine with a sound power level of 105 decibels at a height of 1 meter. Now that we have completed the setup of our room, we can have a look at it using the 3D viewer. So this is the principal procedure on how to set up an indoor project. As mentioned before, the calculation of the grid and the statistical values will be shown in the next tutorial.